ultimately, it's the end performance of the product. Does it meet the need of the customer? There's a lot of collaboration between R&D design engineer groups and quality assurance groups to look at all of the needs, the fit and function needs, the aesthetic needs, to be able to deliver the vision that's been outlined by the design team. The reason that we use wood for windows is that wood has good insulating properties, has good structural properties, is relatively economical to manufacture, and you can do a lot of different things with wood relatively easily compared to other materials. You can come up with all kinds of shapes and sizes that to make those same shapes and sizes out of other materials would be very difficult and very expensive. We will actually generate 3D models in our CAD systems, and we'll use these 3D models to generate rapid prototype parts and to conduct engineering analysis, and we will put together several rough concepts. Those concepts will then actually take to our customer base and we'll solicit feedback on those concepts. We have high expectations for the durability of our products and we work hard to test them very aggressively. And we test it well and beyond what the industry standards are set to. We do numerous air tests, water tests, and structural tests, as well as cycling, thermal testing, and numerous specific material tests. The end goal is to have the most durable, longest lasting products that we can produce. Just like a material is a resource or an employee is a resource, changing technology is a resource. And so we invest in staying abreast of those changing technologies to give us a superior product that meets that end customer need.